June of 1951, a family in California wants to move to Oklahoma to buy a farm. But they cannot take a cat because they want to take the cat, their family house cat, but when they put the cat in the car, it takes a total fit. It, do, it doesn't like a car. So they decide to leave a cat, their cat, with their neighbor. They travel 2,000 miles to Oklahoma. They buy the farm. 14 months later, they're out in the barn working in the hay. A cat walks up to them. They're shocked. Looks identical, but there's the cat that they had had a deform had a deformed bone in its back leg. They check to see if that deformity is there. It's there. They're shocked. How can a cat travel 2,000 miles? Few weeks later. The mailman runs, they get the mail. Their neighbor had had wrote them a letter. You know, typical, hello, how you doing? How's life now in Oklahoma? Things are the same in California here. One exception. Two weeks after you moved, after you left, the cat that you gave for us to watch went missing. We have found no traces of the cat. And they're reading this letter as they're holding the cat. And scientists have recently found out, discovered, that cats can smell their owner 2,000 miles away. I'm not making any of this up. It really happened. Did that cat travel that far? Is it possible? Think of all the snakes, the salt flats, the mountains. But they say cats have a natural radar built into them, their brain. That cat was so close to, the, to their cat, they're 99% sure was the same cat.